Hey, what's up, you guys? This is like not. This is like two hours after I have uploaded the other review, and it already has one view, which is great. Uh, but honestly, I know like a lot of the reviews I mostly post sh usually do po come out at during like the daytime. So, yeah, I'm not surprised. For all I know, tomorrow I could look and have a bunch of views on it, but channel is slowly slowly growing but hey this is the next review on the human torch and I was, I want to talk about this real quick I was it was the it was a debate between him and the thing because the thing would be awesome but I like human torch more so I'm like eh might as well go for it I don't have any fantastic four figures yet Surprisingly, I did not see a She-Hulk or Hulk there. So, that'll be interesting. I didn't see a She-Hulk or Doctor Doom. That's surprising that they didn't have She-Hulk. I, I would think that she'd be more of a one that they would look there. Doctor Doom, I'm not surprised they didn't, though. Uh, and I'm really glad this is the beginning of my Fantastic Four. Mm gonna get all of the this wave same with the uh other wave so anyways the box got a nice big four in the background i really may just keep this box because this is really nice actually the big four in the background it's got fantastic four on the bottom says human torch on the side you got a smug looking human torch almost like if this was like based off of the chris evans human torch yeah if you didn't know that i do and it has a uh, for the figure super scroll. Uh, like that. Uh, all the figures in the way. Picture of the figure. And it says Human Torch. Johnny Storm can transform his body into an incredibly hot plasma. Control fire and fly. Now, of course, would I have liked to have gotten the Walgreens exclusive where he's all lit up? Yes. But on the other hand, this one's pretty good. And not to mention, he has kind of a better body mold. But, hey, I am really just glad to have a human torch, honestly. So, here he is. All of his uh, glory. Um, so, and I will say, the next Fantastic Four review you might see for me. Maybe not in a while, but I'll pr probably try to get the thing next. And then I'll get the other two. Uh, and then I'll have the Fantastic Four down, which will be awesome. But like I said in the last video... It's going to be interesting getting new figures because uh, my dad is, and me are moving back here. Well, not the man and uh, to a, a girlfriend's place and I'll have to reset up everything, which is actually a good opportunity to see where I want things to be. So anyways, not to mention, I may keep these figures here because I'm going to start putting stuff away as soon as possible. But who knows, it's not so like, but anyways, so here he is, amazing figure, let's look at his accessories first, to begin with, this is the hands that he comes with, within the packaging, and that is these two fists, which are nice, but of course, I like these, uh, you've got these flame effects here. There's a different flame effect. He got this open hand with a flame on it. It's translucent. And he got a fist hand. The reason why I put that off because I realized that it was probably easier if I did this and then put the hand on. Oh wait, this is the wrong one. Anyways, uh, so yeah. So, oh, and then wait, I forgot about the other two accessories, which aren't that important. This is the same arm, and the thing with this, I don't really get too much. But anyways, this is a super scroll build a figure. 
but you have the option to make them a normal, so they have a like a D like powered arm. You can just have a normal scroll. But if you want a normal scroll, you have to buy a bunch of these waves. So kind of wish if they were gonna go with a normal scroll, they would have done that with like you know later on. But who knows? I'm not gonna build. I'm not gonna uh, you know army build it. So I'm not worried about it. But you have the option. So there's a D powered arm. And then here is the powered up arm, which has, if you don't know the Super Scroll, uh, like there's a point in time where he gets all the powers out of the Fantastic Four. On one arm, it's the Thane and the Human Torch. On the other arm, it's Mr. Fantastic and Invisible Woman. And then this flame effect, though, could also, like, work. At least it did. It's been spread out because I put it on. Well, it used to be a bit tighter, but since I was like trying, I couldn't figure out where to put the the flame effect on here. It like opened up a bit, so now it won't fit on there. But if you really wanted to, that flame effect at the beginning, anyways, will actually fit on his arm or something. But anyways, let's look at this. So this is a modern rendition or a modern-ish rendition of. Fantastic Four suits. I mean, you know, they're always going to say all the same, but you got the four in the middle. Uh, you got blue, like, stripes all around. Uh, on the feet, I don't know if you can see, but they got actual, like, treads. There's actually, like, spikes there. Don't, don't hurt, but... And look at the face sculpt. Very nicely done. I don't, I don't see a lot of, uh, I don't read a lot of the modern Fantastic Four comics. But that face sculpt looks like a Johnny Storm, or even like a young Steve Rogers, if you're going for that, I guess. Um, but yeah, that's painted very well. Wish even though I wish that even though it's like a regular body, that he came with like a um, a flame a flamed like or like a, a head with flame effects. Maybe like his hair is on fire or something. I don't know. But very nice, very very nice. Can't wait to get the other. I'm pretty sure that most of these figures, though, the most most of the Fantastic Four figures, are actually just uh, repaints. At least for Mr. Fantastic, Invisible Woman, and Thane. He's different, but I believe they just have the same bodies as they did from the Walgreens one. They just have different head sculpts, looks, and paint. Also, they also have, like, different power effects, but... But the other thing is, the next reviews you might see are actually going to probably be from the Endgame Wave 2. Because I'm going to finish that up. I'm going to finish it up. I'm going to get Hulk. And that's just it, so I can finally have a Hulk. But anyways, very nice paint. Like the, like the translucence on flame effects so I always kind of picture him like going up to a bad guy or like a bad guy a goon or whatever and just like placing his hand and lighting it up on fire on his face I don't know why I just thought of that as soon as I saw this hand I just thought of that immediately but anyways let's go over articulation his head can move up that far very nice so if you're getting him in flying poses very nice. You can look down that far. You can look side to side. Not really any tilt. His arms move up that far. He's got a butterfly joint. He's got a bicep swivel. Double jointed elbows. A wrist hinge and a swivel. On all the hands are just up and down. With the flame effects, it's a bit hard, but you can ab crunch that far forward. That crunch that far back. He's got a waist swivel. His legs can kick, he can kick out that far. He can kick back a little bit. He's got an upper thigh swivel. Double jointed knees. Calf swivel. His ankle goes down. Goes up. He has ankle pivot. 
So, uh, for comparison, I only have one other figure, and you've already seen the comparison, but I'll do it again, since this is all about him, and you get, may not care about the other figure, you know, until later. To be honest, I am, I'm recording this, uh, 9.26, almost, it's almost 9.30, and I recorded the other video, like, two hours ago, so seven at some point but here he is next to uh superior octopus uh so what i did when i went there was like so i immediately when i saw the spider-man wave i only saw one of him and he was the mo he was my most wanted out of the wave so i was like immediately pick him up fantastic i was also debating on getting another figure mainly i was debating on getting the uh, spider armor one But I was like, might as well just get one from the other way of two. That way we have them both started. And I got Human Torch because, well, he's my favorite Fantastic Four character. Not that I really follow up with the Fantastic Four that much, but he is my favorite. Thing is going to be hopefully next in this wave. And then Mr. Fantastic and his woman. I might do a, a double review with uh, Mr. Fantastic and Invisible Woman because... Uh, you know, their husband and wife and whatnot. But anyways, ho hope you enjoyed this review. Let me know what you think of the figure. Let me know what you think of the review. If you like, if you liked it, like, share, and, su and subscribe. Uh, just let me know what you think of the figure. I think this figure is good. Especially if you didn't get the Walgreens one. But if you have the chance to get the Walgreens one over this, I do suggest it. Not more, really, but kind of like the equal amount of suggesting it, these two. Because the other one actually is full-on flamed up and has a bunch of effects. But on the other hand, this one has a better body, has a different head sculpt. You know, And I'm pretty sure I don't have like the Mr. Fantastic body, which people use also for a deep power Johnny Storm. But I'm pretty sure this would work on, on that body if you're going for that. So... But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this review, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. See you in the next one. Peace.